What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 6 in this video primarily here today, but I'm going to also talk about A Quiet Place Day 1. So just to kick it off with that and get that out of the way before we get into the main event, Scream 6, A Quiet Place Day 1 has begun production. It's already filming. John Krasinski put out this tweet to announce that filming has begun and we got our first look at Lupita Nyong'o on set of A Quiet Place Day 1. And the tweet that he put out says, requisite photo of slate of day on day one this time with a twist so honored to be there day one of a quiet place day one with the maestro michael cernowski and legendary lupita nyango cannot wait to see what magic they conjure in this one so we know that lupita nyango will be joined by two other individuals one was alex wolf who again i will say for anyone who grew up with him one half of the naked brothers band probably more recently know him from hereditary and um he was in old recently too from M. Night Shyamalan and then the second individual I can't think of his name right now but he played he played Freddy or Eddie rather in the recent edition of Stranger Things in the Stranger Things fourth season his name was Joseph Quinn I believe yeah Joseph Quinn if that's not his name correct me down in the comment sections but those two are joining Lupita and we know that this movie is supposed to release in March of 2024 uh we're going to be set obviously on day one this will be showing us the perspective of the very first day or showing us the very first day that the creatures came to earth from the perspective of different individuals who are not the Abbott family even though there are plans for the Abbots to return in their own third entry in their trilogy but lupita's story and whatever else is going on with alex wolf and joseph quinn all that and their day one will be told from their perspectives whether these characters will intertwine is yet to be seen obviously that's the ch there's a strong chance that these characters are going to cross paths and they will join up at some point one out of these three stars that we know will be in this movie probably have a um Probably, probably will have a villain role in the movies in some type of fashion. Uh, where maybe they were part of some type of group. Because you know how in pretty much... We, we saw it kind of introduced in the second movie. And pretty much any other apocalyptic survival-like survival, survival -like film, TV show you watch. There's always a group of people who are villainous in a way. Trying to do more than they need to. Trying to control other people. Just out, of course out of fear. But also just because they want to control others as well. But you guys can let me know if you're looking forward to a quiet place day one down in the comment section below. What do you think Lupita Nyong'o's role will be? Do you think she'll be the main lead? Obvious, obviously, um, with very little plot details still known about the project, there's not much to discuss there plot-wise. But we know it's set on day one and we're going to be seeing what happened on the very first day from the perspectives of different people who are not the Abbots. And maybe even see this movie set us up to see whoever survives maybe link up later on in the series with the Abbots because we know that the plan right now is to help this help this uh, series become this big universe of movies. That's what they want to do with A Quiet Place. That's what was reported before anyway. We'll see if that works out for them. Jumping into the main event of the video, Scream 6. Scream 6 tickets are on sale as of now, so I hope everyone has enjoyed securing their tickets. Several new TV spots have been released with one very interesting bit of dialogue from Kirby Reed that has prompted a new possibility for the film. Before I discuss that, I do want to check out um I do want to check out this awesome new poster we have for the movie. This poster lets us lets us know all the names of the characters, even though we already knew them. One person is missing though, and that's Henry Kazerni, who was going to be Sam's therapist, who once again is nowhere to be found on this poster, nowhere to be found in the TV spots or the trailer. So what does that mean? He's either very irrelevant to the bigger picture, he's ghost face, or he dies early on, which I guess would also tie into being irrelevant to an extent. I do wonder if some of the character names are clues though. Like I wonder which name has a meaning that might stand out to anyone upon further digging you guys can let me know what you find down in the comment section below if you want to go look up these names and what they mean and think that and see if it ties in any way to scream six when you sit down and watch the movie um we also did get the super bowl ad this morning with the tickets when they dropped the super bowl ad dropped and it's pretty much just an extended look of the events leading up to the bathroom scene some extended sh some extended look at what's happening when the characters start crossing the ladder bridging over to another apartment room i'm assuming or another apartment complex um now this looks like a very tense sequence we see sam going across it at one point then we see anika as well or anika looks like she's about to start going across it we see mindy at one point 
And when Mindy starts to go across, we see Ghostface from behind her. So they're shaking it up a little bit. They really want you to, to doubt who's going to make it out of this alive. Is it going to be Anika or is it going to be Mindy? One of them is seemingly going to die because it can't be Sam. It just can't be Sam. It, it, right. <laughs> so we we got that Super Bowl spot. I was going to watch the Super Bowl literally just for that spot. Now I'm just going to watch it for Rihanna. So I'm not going to be any rush to turn on the Super Bowl this Sunday. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm not the biggest football fan. For anyone who might have been wondering, you probably already knew that, though. You see me always talking about wrestling. But just to talk about some of the stuff related to Kirby. As for that Kirby bit in, in the recent TV spot, she's seen talking to Jamar Maroney, and she's like, I've been investigating Ghostface attacks. And I'm like, what? You've been investigating attacks so like have richie and amber inspired a slew of isolated incidents around the nation because if that's true i'd love to know just how many attacks has kirby been investigating or how many has she investigated are richie and amber going to become this generation's billy and Stu? meaning will we hear about them in some high regard like how we always link back to billy and Stu, as if they were such a great pair of people now Kirby could also be referring to any isolated incidents that took place in New York that could have happened prior to her joining up with the survivors in New York for the rest of the movie. These could be separate from whoever our main set of killers will be, though. So the way she just said, I'm investigating Ghostface attacks or I've been investigating attacks comes off as though there's isolated incidents occurring around the nation or around New York or somewhere else that Kirby has just been investigating them. Now, what this also reminds me of for people who might want to argue that's unrealistic. I don't think it's too unrealistic. It depends on how many of these attacks she's referring to. I recall when it was about to drop in 2017 and we saw like a spike in clowns sightings around the nation and it was attributed to the upcoming release of it or at least people were trying to associate it with the release of it so i'm curious if these isolated attacks are really just people being inspired by amber and richie in some regard the same way billy and Stu were put up to some high regard in the past for the original trilogy so we'll see what happens there with that what did you guys think about these tv spots that we've gotten what do you think about all these cool posters also there was a poster that they put out that's very similar to the sick poster i will say this this is a clue for the movie I'm telling you, that's a clue for the movie. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.